Hey guys, it's a freshly shaven Adam here. Yeah, check it out. Hair's all gone. And uh, I like to say it's 9 o'clock in the morning, but it's not. It's actually 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Let me explain myself. This is fucked. So I did set my alarm last night. I know I set my alarm last night, and I must have slept through my alarm. When I got up today, it was 10.35 p.m. It takes me a half an hour to get to work. I was like, holy shit, I got 25 minutes to do what takes me 30 minutes. I got up, I ran downstairs, I let the dog out while I took a piss, got him back in the house, blasted out the door, jumped in the car, flew to work as fast as I ever have. No, I didn't speed, but I was cutting her close, so let me tell you a little something about that. Like, if the speed limit was 50, I was doing about 53. Like, I was doing a little bit over, just trying to make up for lost time. Fly in the door, get to work, grab my headset, run out, jump on a computer, log in as fast as possible, get everything open, go to log in, when I realized they gave me today off. Fuck. Apparently on Friday there was a schedule change and they neglected to tell people. So I had today off. So I literally busted my ass, flew to work, I didn't go to the tractor shop yet, I just called them uh, to find out if they have the kid in. Like just, just right now called them. I didn't even bring my phone with me or nothing. I just fucking gone, like gone. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Um, I called them up to see where or if they have any stock. They need a number off the engine. They told me where to find the number on the engine. It's on the side of the engine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go outside. First I gotta do what I didn't do this morning. And that's feed the fur babies. Because I did not feed the dog or cat this morning when I got up. Because I was late for work and I fucking flew the coop. And these things probably need food. So, I can tell Scampers wants food. She's going through the cupboards looking for things to eat. Even though, you ready for this? Her bowl has food in it. She insists on begging for food. Cat's dicked. Anyway, let's go out to the garage and see if we can find out what the fuck that tractor needs. Because today is the day that I'm either going to make it or break it, people. Today is the day we're going to get the parts. And we're going to clean that carb and get it running right. It's a rainy as frig day outside today. Just shit. Now he said it will be stamped on the side of the engine. I wonder if that's it right there. I can't tell. Maybe it's over here. You sit on the left side on the plate that covers the valve. Maybe over here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is a weird one. That thing just randomly turned on. That was neat. But I reviewed the video. And I think I see what he means. Right here, there's shit stamped in. Um, code model and something else in the middle. So I cleaned it off with some Windex and a rag. Just trying to get the shot. Which is not easy to do with this hood in the way. But, I'm sure I can get it. And it'll look good on the big screen. So, let's go inside, see what we can get off of this, and as long as I can get the model number, and whatever that number is in the middle, and then the code, we're good. Should have just pulled the hood off and got it, but I think I got it. So, let's pitter-patter and have at her. We'll head inside, and uh, call them back up, see if they got the kit, get a price on that, hope it's not like, god-awful expensive. Then we'll hook a brother up. Now let's fix the tractor. So I went ahead and called the tractor place to see, uh, uh, it's Hamlin's, to see if they had the part. I Luckily I got the right numbers, called them up, gave them the numbers, and the first guy I talked to was like, if you have the numbers, I can tell you right now if we have it in stock, chances are we do. Second guy I talked to when I just called back said, uh, I'll take the part number down, I'll give you a call back. So now I'm waiting for a call back. Hopefully that comes in soon because uh, it's getting kind of late and I want to get this tractor fixed. Well, I got hungry waiting, so I figured I'd make myself some mac and cheese, but I added too much milk to it. So now, mac and cheese soup. Kraft dinner soup, yummy. It's really hard to wait for a call from a tractor place when your cell phone's not working right. I was losing all sorts of signal on my phone. And no, that's not the screen broken, that's actually text. Um, basically, 
I've been trying to get a call on this phone. I've been trying to get better signal on this phone. I went on the internet, looked up the problem, and nobody could tell me what the problem was. You ever go to a forum? Aren't forums great? Aren't they the biggest, useless, most pieces of shit on the planet? Like troubleshooting forums? Some are great, like community forums where it's a group of people with the same interests who all share knowledge and help each other grow. Love those forums. Those are great forums. But then you go to forums like company forums, like Asus.com, for instance, where somebody's like, I have the Zen phone too, and it keeps losing signal. Anybody else have this have a solution for this problem? Rather than getting the solution, you get a whole slew of people coming in going, I have that phone, and I have that problem. Oh, I have that phone, and I have that problem. I also have that phone, and I have that problem. I have that phone, and I had that problem. I tried this, it didn't work. And it's like, it just literally rehashes what the original person said. It's like... If you don't have a solution to the problem, save yourself the time, don't type anything. Don't be a dick. It's a dick. But, um, no, it's like, so I got in, got in contact with support at asus.com and said, this is the issue I'm having with the phone. Uh, I've already cleared, on the back of the, of the plate of the phone, there's these two pins that actually touch the back of the phone. And that's the antenna. It makes like a connection. And there's this like, metal grid on the back of the, uh, the plastic part of the phone. So I told him, I said, I cleaned that off with some, uh, basically it's an electronic solvent, so it's safe for you to use on electronics, won't damage or corrode the board, but it cleans off any shit. So I told him, I said, I already cleaned the contacts, that didn't resolve the problem. The antenna seems to be in good working order. The phone was working fine a couple days ago, now it's not. Do you have any solutions? Right away they get back to me and say, wipe the cache, here's the instructions, resolves the problem. I've never had to do that on an Android phone before, so I had to look it up. If this fixes the problem, there's going to be a tech video on how to fix your Asus Zen Phone 2. One bar. If I go over to the window where it should get a ton of signal. Still one bar. Fuck, I think this phone is shot, boys. Oh, two bars. I don't understand this phone. It was working fine, now it's acting like a dick. So that didn't solve the problem. Made the phone a little bit more snappier, but really didn't resolve the problem. I think what I might have to do is go up at the tractor place and see what the fuck's really going on. How long does it take you to go in the back warehouse and find a part? Tell me if you got it and the price. Ridiculous. I should at least have a voicemail on that thing. <sighs> Maybe Adrian's right about them. He says sometimes they're hard to get work done over there. Maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. So I just called the tractor place, right? Check this out. You see how it shows no signal? Watch when I... I'll call my voicemail. The moment he makes a phone call... Signal gets better. Signal's full bars. Oh. What could be happening, right? What could be happening? It's simple. It's so simple. You go into your settings here. And then, once you're in your settings, there is a spot for power. Power management. And you'll see, click on power saver. Sorry, I'm not showing you things. See that's some power saving? Networks are disabled when the device is asleep. <coughs> Not only that, it actually lowers the power going to all the antennas when they're not in use. So it simulates it, but it, it lowers the power so much that it'll actually lose connection to the network. So I'll just put her in normal mode. And uh, be done with it. And then now we have two bars in here instead of none. Ridiculous, right? That's what was happening. In order to save power, it reduced the network. But it's a good thing I called them back because it sounds like they didn't have any intentions on calling me. Uh, the carb rebuild kit, eh, it's about what I priced it on online. So I get everything, the fuel kit, the, uh, the fuel pump kit, the carb kit, the gaskets, the new jet, all that shit. So what we're gonna do is, I gotta go for a crap. <clears throat> and then we're gonna head off to the place. Talk to a guy about a kit. Oh, guys. What the fuck's a the VMU? There we go. Okay, just making sure it's working. Ah, uh, this is not the time of day that I've been wanting to do this. It's a good thing. I gotta clean my fucking wipers. They go up, they look great, come back down, and just swoosh marks, eh? Lovely. High quality right there for you, folks. Um, but anyway. Um. Oh yeah, like even if I wanted to go and pick up the friggin' parts this morning before heading into work, I couldn't have. 
That wouldn't have happened. It, uh, I would have been, like, up there and they would have been like, and I would have been late. Well, especially because I got up super late because I slept through my alarm. But that's besides the point. <sighs> Whatever, we'll get this tractor done. I was kind of hoping to fire it up and take it for a rip in the backyard and really open her up and test her out. But the best I'll be able to do is fire it up in the garage because I don't really like mowing the lawn when it's wet and rainy out because it all sticks to the undercarriage of that, of the, uh, the deck. And that's just not going to happen. I don't want to deal with that. So, no, it's a big deal. We'll go ahead and pick up the parts, go home. Actually, I was thinking about going over to the beer store and grabbing some drinks to help motivate while, mow while fixing the mower. I'm going to film the whole process, like cut out the stupid stuff and keep the good stuff and hopefully everything works out well and it looks awesome. Um, definitely going to film the whole process of tear down the carb because uh, that's something that needs to be seen. And the other thing I need to do is figure out how the fuck I'm going to turn off the fuel. Sounds simple enough. Should be easy, right? Turn the petcock off. What if your tank doesn't have one? So now I gotta see how the hell I'm gonna disable the fuel. Or worst case in Ontario, I just drain all the fuel out of the uh, tank, right into a bucket. You know, whatever. It's not much in there. There's a little bit in the bottom of the tank, so it's not a big deal. Well, it's not gonna be losing like boatloads of fuel. But uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely looking forward to getting this thing fixed up. I hope this year goes well and we're good to go. Oh, just go ahead and pass me. It's a fucking 40 zone, you goof. Holy fuck, you're on video, bud. 40 zone, school zone, cocksucker passes me doing 60. Like, did you not? It's, wow. Wow. Only in North Bay, people. Should have just fucking beamed him one, eh? Just sideswiped him or sped up and held him in the oncoming traffic lane. Fucking guy. Wonder what his hurry is to get a ticket? Piece of shit. Anyway, I'm actually doing 45 and a 40. Theoretically, that's over 10% of the speed. And you could get fined for speeding by doing that. Holy shit, like if you don't see that traffic guard, you are fucking blind. Traffic guard? Traffic director, maybe? I don't know what the hell to call those guys. Mobile stop sign? Maybe. I think it's traffic guard, eh? I'm pretty sure. Crosswalk guy. That's what we'll call them. He is also a mobile stop sign. Don't kid yourself. He'll put that shit up and he'll walk along and stuff. Yeah, we'll head over to Hamlin's. Grab the parts. I'm thinking we're going to head over to the beer store. Grab some beverage. And then uh, we'll head home. I got a steak for supper tonight that I'm definitely thinking about air frying. No if, ands, or buts about it. And I do believe tonight we're going to play Ark. Because Church found a cave up in the snow area. And we kind of want to go and check that shiz out. Holy shit, look at all the people in front of me coming down. Are you for real right now? Entire North Bay traffic coming down off the hill right now, people. Fucking button her up. I was going to give her, but... No, I'm going to... Alright. Let's go buy the carb kit. Over here at Hamlands. Yeah. Okay. I shall return. Alrighty, I got the carb rebuild kit, and I also bought something a little extra. They have the same plugs that I need for my for that engine, so I bought them here. They weren't that expensive. They were uh, three dollars and ninety-five cents a piece. 
Anyway, I'm gonna super time lapse run to the beer store. Let's do this. All right, people, just scooped up some beverage. Let's go home. All right, people, we're home. There's the victim. Here are the parts. Here are the new plugs. Perfect. And there's the rebuild kit. So let's get it going. All right, first thing I'm going to do is take the hood off. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got the hood off, but not out of my way because it's got this stupid piece of wire here. I'm not exactly sure what it's for. Oh, I see. Okay, let me get that out of the way. And there we go. It's all said and done. So now what I need to do is take off the air box here, which is just a couple of these butterfly screws. Of course, use the hand that has the best torque. To do take this shite off the air box here which is off of here it's a couple of these this is better with two hands and then once you take that all off you end up with this with three screws so they look like they got a hex bracket to them so I could probably get like a a ratchet on them there's the butterfly there and as you can see when I use choke it slowly closes and opens so what we're gonna do is uh, hey, Rex said to turn off the fuel, but honestly, I don't see anywhere under here where there's a fuel turn off. Anywhere on this line, where there's a fuel shut off going into the fuel. There's nowhere to shut off the fuel. Like, the option's just not there. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Alrighty, well this kind of stuff fascinates me. I got the car exposed, as you can tell. And uh, I've been sitting in my chair doing it because it's at that level and I'm looking underneath here trying to figure out how exactly it's, it's bolted on here and I really can't tell now I know this is a drain plug I've read that on mine uh, drains all the gasoline out of the bowl um, what I don't know is how exactly this thing is hooked onto there now this is a set screw for uh, your jet, your, your throttle, because this is the throttle here. Um, basically, let me show you here when I move the lever and show you exactly what happens. This is obviously not for you people out there who know how this shit works, but as you can see, that's full throttle, that's no throttle. It really full throttle, halfway up it's already in full throttle mode it seems. Like, that's only halfway up. All the way up, it does nothing. So I really don't understand the purpose of that. But, whatever. It is what it is. And, um, I, I closed the choke when I was taking off the screws on the top of the bowl. From the air breather, for the key reason that in case one fell down in there, it wouldn't go very far. It would just sit on the plate and grab my magnet and take it out. So, that was my own little, little bright idea. What I'm trying to figure out, though, is how in the cock is this thing mounted on here? There's nothing underneath here. I have no... This must be one solid piece. I really... I guess i got to take the bolts off from here and over here to take this whole unit off. That The carb is one solid piece, is that it? I got the door open. It's reeking like gas in here, and I'm getting hired in frig. But, um, took the top off. Forgot to drain the fuel out of the bowl. Whoops. Doesn't look too bad in there. Then again, maybe it is really bad. I'm gonna drain the gas out, and then uh, we'll get a better idea as to what it is in there. But it actually looks pretty damn clean. So I don't know. So I drained all the gas out of it, and it really doesn't look that bad in there. It actually looks pretty good. Unless this here is the culprit. And if that's the case, I don't know how the hell he cleaned that out, but well, let's see what this kit comes with. Okay, it looks like that's the jet right there. Which doesn't make sense because that means the jet is on the butterfly. What? I'm looking at this here and uh, 
spring diaphragm cup, okay, throttle plate, I'm looking at it from the wrong side, right, wrong, that thing I took out had a jet in it, no, it's just a plug with a grommet, <sighs> yeah, that's the plug or cylinder, oh, okay, and it says there's a fixed jet in there, I didn't see no fixed jet in there. Is there a fixed jet in there? Does anybody see a fixed jet in there? Oh, there is. Oh. Shit. Yeah. I see what you mean. Well, shit. Hmm. This is getting a little bit over my head, people. Getting a little, uh... A little nervous now. Um, yeah, so as far as the float needle go, uh, it looks fantastic. Like, it free moves, there's no resistance. Look at that pin. Look at how shiny that pin is. Like, it's fine. Needle's in there, everything's in there. It's good. No problems with that part. Even the gasket's good, so... Obviously this carb has been rebuilt before and cleaned out and well looked after. I just don't understand what the fucking problem with it is now. So, taking a look here, and that's the pump. So maybe the pump isn't pumping. I don't know. I don't know. This is the only instructions that came with. I might have to do some more research figure shit out hmm well I guess I can spray some carb clean in there and uh, maybe maybe that might loosen something up I wonder if it's safe to run a carburetor <laughs> like this completely opened up and shit with no choke opportunities I'd have to cover this obviously but uh Nah, the floating bowl would have to be on it, otherwise she'd just flood. But, um, yeah, so how does this even work? So that jet picks up fuel down there, and then just drills it into this guy? Is that it? I don't know. I don't freaking know. I don't know what I'm doing. Alrighty, so I ripped a piece of wire out of my wire brush over on the bench there. And I've been feeding it down the galleys here, down these little holes and stuff. And this one here especially, I was only able to go down so far and then it was resisting. And it felt like pushing through like a jelly. And now it's broken free. So, I've been doing that all over here. Just finding random resistances here and there. And breaking them free. And I noticed the color of the wire has been changing. So, maybe I'm doing some good by doing this. Maybe I'm cleaning some shit out. I don't know how this, this jet works, or if this is even a jet. I'm thinking that sprays straight down, but the fuck do I know, right? Alrighty guys, I went and buttoned up the carb after clearing it. Whether I did it right or not, I don't know. But basically what I'm doing is getting ready for a test run. And if something happens, the tractor bursts in the flames, I'm sending her out into the rain because somebody doesn't own a fire extinguisher. Even though the garden hose is right there. But you should never use water on a chemical fire. For obvious reasons. If you don't know what those reasons are, then you're probably pretty stupid and shouldn't be around stuff. But yeah, water will just spread the chemicals, making the fire go everywhere else. So, let's go ahead and um, make sure we got runaway clearance. So we gotta put her in gear and get the fuck out of here. Then we can. Alrighty, let's see if she starts. Feels weird riding this thing with no hood. She tried.
Damn it. As soon as you open her wide up, she just fucking dies, eh? I don't know. And she was sputtering gas out too, so... Fuck, I don't know what I'm doing. I might have to get get the heavies in here and get somebody who actually knows what they're doing in here. Because I, I don't have the friggin... <laughs> but I will admit, it is running a little bit better. It actually uh, started and ran, which is cool. Um, I don't know where to go from here. I might talk to Rex and see if he's doing something. And wants to swing by one of these nights and give me a hand figuring this thing out. For the time being, is this carb hot? No, it doesn't feel hot. Good, I want to put a bag over it or something. Just to prevent anything getting in it, into it. We'll figure it out over time. As for now, I don't know what else to do. I've exhausted all my options. I do have the new plugs to put into it. I don't know if that'll resolve the problem. Probably not. Because it still feels like a fuel problem. So, fuck, I don't know. I don't know. Best part about this is you guys saw it running. You heard it. You seen what it did. I know one of you guys out there is a mechanic who works on this shit. We'll be able to say, Adam, this is what it's doing. This is why. I've worked on that card before. It's this. Do. And then maybe I can do or get somebody over here who has a little bit more knowledge in this shit to help me do it right. Which would be nice. Anyway, I'm heading in. Well, guys, it's dinner time. And I think I'm going to have steak and mashed potatoes. No, nope, steak and rice and veg. Sounds better. Rice in the bottom, veg on top. Close it up. Press the bouton. Let it do its thing. Best part about these dinners, they do actually cook themselves. Nice. Bon appetit, good people. So I'm gonna eat this and then we're getting our live stream going. Talk to you guys afterwards. Peace. Anyway guys, we just finished our live stream of ARC. We got the wall built. Is that going on my lip? Oh, okay. <clears throat> but uh, let me know what you think of that tractor surging. Uh, I was told it could be one of the screws that needs to be adjusted. Like uh, one of the tuning screws. I don't know. I gotta look into it. But anyway, uh, we're just watching uh, some funny fails over here. I gotta get this video edited and uploaded because I gotta work tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to bed. So anyway, people, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.